All right, guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video. Thought I'd do a box break recap for you. Um, as you can see in front of me, empty box here. Decided to open some 1994 Flare um, Series 1. So Flare, uh, honestly, one of my favorite sets as a kid. Uh, when it came out, it was like, whoa. Uh, I mean, the packs were... Let me see if I can grab... There's like a bunch of trash here. I can grab the pack and just kind of show everyone that's not familiar with it. Um, there might be some people that aren't. But, I mean, the pack looked like this, and it's sealed uh, with cellophane, and you open it, and then the cards inside you take out and are sealed. It's, it's pretty, it was pretty awesome at the time. Um, so just a uh, big-time throwback here to my childhood. This is not the first year of Flair 1993 was, um, but this is the first year um, that they did two series. So... Series two had uh, has Alex Rodriguez's rookie, um, and th it's also the series that has the hot gloves, um, and Griffey, and and uh, I know he's in there. So basically, I'll just kind of go over. It. You know, it says right here: look for wave of the future inserts and outfield power and hot numbers insert sets. So you know, in the back here, two hundred fifty basic cards. There's the sets, um, 24 packs. So, yeah, I mean, I opened this with no expectations just because it's fun, and um, I'll show you guys what I got. So this is the stack of the base, kind of the non-notable, I'd say, base behind me. Um, this is the stack of, I tried to pull out most of the Hall of Famers and some people that, you know, just notable, notable players, and then my stack of inserts right here, which I'll go over. Excuse me. Um, so let's just sort through it here. I did this way rather than just, I don't, it would have been painful for you guys to watch me open those packs simply because you have to cut the cellophane on the back of the pack, take that out, um, open up the pack. And a lot of times the insert is on the back of the pack. So if you pull the pack out the wrong way, you see what the card is. So it's just kind of no surprises. So anyway, let's just go through it here. Robbie Alomar, I kind of sleeved up the cards, you know, obviously, um, the the Hall of Famers and notable players. Um, I'll go through some, see if there's any that are worth grading. Um, I know I already looked at, like, the Griffey and stuff, and I didn't. I think there was something going on with it. Um, and it, one thing I would say about this set is, you know, looks relatively easy, really thick card stock, doesn't have a lot of corner issues. What I've noticed, though, a lot of print lines, a lot of streaking um, on the card. So just something if you decide to, hey, I'm going to break that, maybe grade some, that's just something to look out for. If you didn't already know that, which I'm sure a lot of people already do, but just my experience was seeing just a lot of uh, streaking and like almost smudging on it too. But anyway, so here's Alomar, Sandberg. There's some duplicates in here. Sheffield, Andre Dawson. There's the crime dog. Ripken, Tino Martinez, Manny. The Thomas looked pretty good, so I'm kind of maybe thinking about it at some point. The cards are just beautiful. Uh, Tim Salmon, thought that was sweet. A couple Don Mattingly's here. Actually, there's three. Um, there's Bonds. I thought that one looked pretty good, too. Um, the other Mattingly. Delgado. So that's pretty cool that, that that's in here. Um, Alan Trammell. Kirby Puckett. Eck. Juan Gonzalez. There's Jeff Kent. Paul O'Neill. I also pulled out most of, I think I pulled out most of the Yankees <clears throat> as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another Kirby Puckett, Eckersley, Gonzalez, Mark McGuire, Will Clark. Uh, there's Melito Perez for the Yanks. Uh, he had a brother, Pasquale Perez. Um, Greg Maddox, Ryan Sandberg. There's Jimmy Key, Trevor Hoffman, Harold Baines. I think this Bonds had something going on with it. I remember it was the second one in the pile. The, here's the Griffey. So only one Griffey and one Thomas in the box, but I think, what was the problem that I saw with this one? Yeah, it just has print lines on it. So I just thought, said to myself, it's probably not gonna work, but either way, Sheffield again, Ripken, there's Piazza, uh, Pedro Martinez, Danny Tartable, Ozzie Smith, Dave Winfield, Tino again, 
Dawson and Fred McGriff. So a few of the same card for notable hall, uh, for Hall of Famers and notable players. It's kind of cool. And then we'll move on to the uh, the inserts, which. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, for what you get out of the box, I thought I did pretty well in terms of the players. So just a kind of a, it, they give you the wave of the future as you get the outfield power and then you get the hot numbers in series one. Series two is infield power, wave of the future uh, two, and then um, hot gloves. So like in this instance, uh, Griffey would be in this, but no Thomas obviously for outfield, he's an in infield power. And then so on and so forth. Um, so anyway, we'll just go through. I'll just show you guys. So A-Rod's in Wave 2, uh, Wave of the Future 2. So Dave Winfield, Lenny Dykstra, Albert Bell. Got the Bonds, which I thought was awesome. And also a Tim Salmon. So, I mean, if I was opening this box in 94, I mean, I think you guys will see at the end, uh, I think I did pretty well. So Bonds and Salmon. We'll hit the wave of the future, and you'll see right what I'm talking about right here. So wave of the future, um, and in this set, they're all horizontal, and they're wearing the Series 2, they're all vertical. So this is uh, Dave, sorry, I can't ever remember that. Dave Staten, um, Rick, uh, excuse me, Rick White, and then, so here's what I mean, Raul Mondesi and Delgado. So, I mean, if I was, like I said, opening this box in 94, that would have been you know, the people you were looking for. And then my hot number was none other than the Big Hurt. So I was super pumped on this card, except I'll take it out of the soft sleeve so you guys can see. I'm still not sure about it, but I think that's a corner problem right there. However, I've looked at it a few different ways. It could be part of this etching. Because um, when I look at it this way, there's nothing going on. So I'm not sure. Uh, either way, that was a hell of a box. Um, the hot number is the per, you know the guy that you want. Um, just a really sick looking card, honestly. Um, but anyway, so I think I was going to say that. So Griffey's not in hot numbers. And uh, Thomas obviously is not. He wasn't in hot gloves. Um in series two. So yeah, uh, 94 flair, man. What a, what a product. Uh, just, just iconic in my opinion. I'll never, so I was 13 when this came out. Um, just unbelievable. I remember seeing it and going, wow, what is that? I think, I don't remember what the packs were at my local card shop back in the day, but anyway, um, it's nice to be able to now as you're older, buy some of these boxes and open them still have a lot of fun with them um for a lot of times the cost of what you could get a blaster for uh this is a little bit more you know blasters have come down in, in price and everything like that but still for a little bit more of a cost of a blaster you can buy something like this and really have a good time with it so um yeah i'll just i, I don't want to keep bringing this up but i'll have to see on this one i just don't know my eye is like telling me that it looks like it's messed up but then i look at a different angle yeah it's really hard to tell because the pattern like this could easily extend down because when you look at it this way it doesn't have it either there's nothing like pop you know there's no uh lifting of the card or anything so i don't know we're gonna have to see Maybe I'll send it in <laughs> and just see what happens. Um, if it comes back like a eight, then I know why. But if it comes back a ten, I guess I was, I guess I was right. We'll see. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll try to do more of these, like a recap, um, especially on the older ones. It's just kind of hard to sit there and open thirty six packs. I think people just kind of get bored with it and don't want to watch. So recaps will be the way to go. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.